constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Very clear case of daylight robbery. Because if you take the sequence of events that took place, take that whole thing, any layman, you don't have to be an expert, could analyze it and say, well, do not know to what degree each one has got involved. But definitely there is an involvement of all of them at one stage or the other, to some extent or the other. And particularly, when it comes to the coop, for the first time in the history, the person who is accused of is calling the coop committee while the committee proceedings were going on. Not just one or two calls, hundreds of them. Now, doesn't that uh, amount or lead into some kind of reasonable doubt of the activities of the coop? They have now commenced investigations and the matter has been forwarded to the Attorney General's department. Therefore, the public can wait without giving various interpretations and embellishing the matter. What is the first thing the government should not do when they come into power? They should not steal. They should punish those who steal and charge them. But the first thing they did was they stole from the central bank. Who should be held accountable? We believe it should be Ranil Vikramasinghe. Meanwhile, the Sri Lanka Freedom Party convened a media briefing today to speak on the bond inquiry report and the President's decision on when it will be tabled in Parliament. Views were also expressed on the tense situation which erupted in Parliament today. If some are shedding blood for a report they have not even read or even seen the front cover of, then this is a sad situation. We are against individuals disrespecting the parliament by fighting in order to gain political mileage. Several parliamentarians attempted to influence the public by saying that legal measures should be taken the very next day over the matter. There are two reasons behind this. Firstly, to drive their own political agendas and secondly, the lack of comprehension. Meanwhile, the topic of the bond issue was also brought up at the Cabinet media briefing today. When you present a report like this, you would normally have to translate this into three languages and then issue in the official language first. But this report consists of 1,257 pages. Therefore, the President wanted to look into the legalities and release the report online. We recommended that the report be released to the Central Bank and then to the FCID. We informed this to the Secretary, to the President, and we received a response today saying that we will be able to table this in Parliament on the 17th. We believe that we will not be able to take normal legal measures but we will have to call for financial specialists and adopt special legal measures to address this issue. We must find out as to what the economic cost to the country is, not how many houses or cars were purchased with the money.